Welcome to the course on VLSI physical design with timing analysis. In this lecture, we discussed about another partitioning algorithm that is called FM algorithm. The content of this lecture includes uh, basically the uh, Fourier Matthews or FM algorithm. First of all, we discussed about the, the terminologies involved in this uh, algorithm. Then we will discuss one example uh, how this uh, FM algorithm is useful for partitioning two blocks. So, we already discussed about the KL algorithm. So, but uh, the FM has some uh, new uh, features compared to uh, KL algorithm. So, here we have a graph G V comma E with nodes and the weighted edges actually. So, our goal is to uh, basically partition or by partition the nodes to disjoint uh, basically to create two disjoint partition and uh, the final goal is to minimize the total uh, cost and it has one extra constraint which is not there in the uh, KL algorithm that, that is the area constraint of the each partition. In uh, here we are uh, basically whenever we are uh, moving a uh, cell from one partition to the other we need to check that whether it is satisfying my area constraint or not. Here uh, in case of KL algorithm we have we are allowed to uh, basically swap two nodes and we are not allowed to take one single node from one partition to the other in case of KL algorithm. But in case of FM algorithm uh, the single cell can be moved independently instead of uh, basically swapping a pair of nodes. So, basically it, it is it will not look into the number of nodes or the cells in a partition, but it will look into the area of the partition. Okay. So, number of nodes does not matter, but the area of the uh, partition is important. So, here if you can see the area of each individual cell should be mentioned in case of FM algorithm because that is used as a criteria for moving a cell from one partition to the other. So, this should be given as input to the algorithm area of individual cell need to be given. So, it will it is useful for partitioning of unequal size partition. So, here what is happening is that the two partitions comes out from the final partition whatever the final partition it will come out the nodes or the cells in each of the partition may not be equal that is also allowed. So, then uh, there is one new concept is there which is not there in the KL algorithm which is called the hypergraph or hyper edges. What is this hypergraph and hyper edges is that? So, if I take an example here let us say I have a two input NAND gate it is driving one XOR gate ok. Now, it is going to inverter let us say or now it is going to one uh, NOR gate ok. So, I can convert this uh, uh, diagram into graph ok. So, this uh, there is a node is here for the NAND gate. So, this is uh, you have uh, XOR gate another node then inverter another node then you, your uh, uh, basically NOR gate is another node. So, here you have node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4. So, one net ok. You have either minimum 2 or more than 2 pins in this case. So, here what is written nets with 2 plus pin in this example we have 3 pins which is greater than 2. So, here these are the these edges is called your hyper edge actually and the graph is called hyper graph. This graph is called this edge is called hyper edge and the graph is called hyper graph. So, this FM algorithm can support basically hyper edges. Okay, which is not possible in case of KL algorithm. It minimizes the cut cost based on the nets, okay. number of cut cost based on the this hyper 
edges which is not possible in case of Kale algorithm. So, let us uh, discuss into some of the terminology which is used in case of FM algorithm. The first one uh, is the gain actually. If I move a cell, what is the gain? So, the, this, this gain function is very important which basically drives our partitioning algorithm. So, if you have a very good gain function, your algorithm is will be totally separated. It will have an uniqueness, an arts uniqueness to your algorithm. So, here that FM algorithm uh, has delta G which is a new gain compared to your KL algorithm. It has two terms, one is called the FS of C and T of C. What is FS of C? FS of C is the number of nets connected to C but not connected to any other cells in the C's partition. Basically, the nets connected to the node C and it is passing through the cut nets, passing through the cut, cut line actually. So, that is called the your moving force. Moving force, uh, uh, if I uh, tell in a another word, it says that if I move that cell from one partition to the other, how much benefit I am getting? Moving force, if, if it is there in one partition, if I move to the another partition, how much gain I am getting, that is why it is called the moving force. Then the second one is called T because it is called retention force. Retention force means basically if I keep that cell in the same partition, what is the benefit? So, the retention force is basically saying that what is the non uncut nets connected to C. If I have a node C, how many uncut nets are there? Uncut nets means that the nets which is not passing by the cut lines. So, retention force says that you have to keep that uh, cell in the same partition. So, higher the value of delta G, then the high we should give more priority to move that cell to the other partition. Delta G is more, then you move that cell from one partition to the other partition. So, let us take, take some example here. We have uh, basically fs of 2 is there. So, if I if I see here nets which is cut by the cut line. So, here if you can see that 2 node 2 you have uh, this net is there ok and this is also called a hypergraph. This is a hypergraph and these are called the hyper edges actually. The same node is connected to 2, 1 and 3 ok. So, here if you can see it is passed by the cut line, it is also connected um, with 2 and 3. So, if I, if I go back, here it is written only, okay. so f s of c is not, f s of 2 will not include that net, that is why f s of 2 is 0. Now, t of 2, what is the t of 2? T of, uh, T of 2 has two nets A and B, but we have to consider the nets which is not passing by the cut line, okay. uncut net nets. The uncut nets is the A here. So, this will give me T of 2 is 1. My gain, what is the gain? If I move the 2 to other side, what is my gain? The minus 1. So, my number of cut line will be increased by, number of cut cost will be increased by 1 if I move the 2 to other partition. So, similarly I can find the f s and t for each nodes or, or each cell. I can find it for each cell. So, after I find for each cell, I need to take which is giving me the highest gain delta g which is giving me the highest gain. So, here I have basically two options are there. I have two options are there cell 1 and cell 5, but I have to take any one of them. So, here the basically the cell 1 is moved to one partition, other partition. So, if I go by, uh, uh, if I go uh, move the cell 1 to the other partition, now I have one partition, let us say partition A, which is having cell 2 and partition B which is having 1, 3, 4, 5. So, now I need to find out the 
maximum positive gain gm of a pass okay so maximum positive gain gm is the cumulative cell gain of m moves that produce a minimum cut cost so each step we are calculating the gain then we are adding that delta g with the previous gain of the pass previous gain of the iteration then we are accumulating that or that is called cumulative cell gain so so here gm is uh, determined by the maximum sum of the cell uh, gain delta g over a prefix of m move in a pass okay so for each iteration i need to accumulate or the cum uh, basically uh, sum up all the gains of the previous gain together to find the gain of that iteration then we have another terminology called ratio factor the ratio factor is a is used for uh, balancing the two partition so here it is a relative balance between the two partition with respect to the cell area if you know all the cell area and the ratio factor we can find a bound which is allowed for a partition to support okay so it prevents all the cell to cluster into one of the partition so uh, the ratio factor is basically will not allow uh, clustering of all the cells into one of the partition so it is very useful factor so what is the definition of ratio factor r is basically area of a divided by area of a plus area of b so this is the ratio factor so area of a and area b are the total respective area of partition a and b okay area of a and area of b are, are the total respective areas of partition a and b now we have to define a balance criteria so how how much uh, basically uh, the partitions can support so this is uh, in uh, basically allowed through the uh, uh, ratio factor the, uh, that each of the partition what is the maximum size what is the minimum size allowed so here we have this balance criteria okay this is the uh, partition a area of a partition should be bounded by in the upper side by r times area of b plus maximum area of any of the cells in the total uh, the cell which is offering the maximum area this uh, basically this factor says that the area of a cell which is having the maximum area that should be added in one of the side in the other side r times area of b minus that cell which is having the maximum size or area then we have a concept called base cell the base cell is a cell that has the highest cell gain delta g so if you are calculating the delta g which is giving me the highest cell gain that is called your base cell so we need to move those cells basically and also it should satisfy balance criteria okay so whenever i am finding the uh, base cell it should have a highest gain that is one thing among the all the free cells we should not calculate the gain of the fixed cell the free means which is allowed to move and it should satisfy the balance criteria two things the highest gain cell among the free cells and the second one is the it should it should satisfy the balance criteria then here if i go by this example the base cell is the cell 1 which is having delta g of 1 is 1 okay then the cell 1 is allowed to move okay cell cell 1 is allowed to move now we'll go by the fm algorithm uh, first uh, we need to compute the balance criteria okay because that balance criteria will be used throughout the algorithm then we'll compute the delta g of each cell okay first of all we'll ca calculate the fs and uh, t of each cell from fs and t we'll calculate the delta g 
your delta G is basically F s of a cell is basically F s of C minus T of C. So, we need to find out F s of C and T of C to find out uh, uh, delta G of C. Now, after you find out the delta G, then we will go for finding the which is which uh, the base cell that has having the maximum gain and it should satisfy my balance criteria. Then we will move that cell. So, one cell move is allowed in case of FM algorithm. Then after we move that cell, that will come under the category of fixed cell. So, that cell cannot be moved in any future iterations. Then after we move my all the delta uh, this uh, F s and T values will be changed. After we move one cell from one partition to the other, my F s and T whatever I have calculated all will change. Then we need to find that F s and T then of each cell after the move, then we will update the gain delta G and connected to the nets via the base cell C i. Then there are two cases, case 1 when all the cells are fixed, then you are uh, you have to go to the step 5. If not all the cells are not fixed, then you have to find the next base cell which is having the maximum gain and also it will satisfy the balance criteria. Then move that cell and go to the step 3. Okay. Then this uh, step 3 and uh, 4 will be repeated till all the cells are fixed, all the cells are fixed. Then I have to go to the, then I have to go to the step 5, where I have to find out the capital GM which is summation of i equal to 1 to m delta G i and find out the step at which my gain is GM value is maximum find out the iteration where my gm is maximum okay find the step which is giving me the maximum gain if my gm is greater than 0 then go to step 6 otherwise then you have to end the algorithm then in the step 6 6 you uh, in the step 6 you have to execute m different moves and reset all the fixed nodes, then you have to start the new pass. You have to go to the step 1, like we did in case of a KL algorithm. So, now take an example how things are happening. So, these are the given factors. In case of FM algorithm, first thing is that your ratio factor is given. This is the first thing. Then area of each of the cells are given. Area of each cell are each uh, area of the cells are given. Okay. So, area of the cells are given and uh, uh, my ratio factor is given, then I can first step is the compute the balance criteria. So, which is the cell having the uh, maximum area, the cell 5. The cell 5 is the basically area of the cell 5 is high, highest. So, that one should come here. So, this will be 5, this will be 5. Then the area of A, what is the constraint for area of A? R times total area. So, it comes out to be 11. Okay. So, the upper bound of partition A is 11 and the lower bound is basically 1. So, upper bound of partition area of partition A, area of partition A is 11. The lower bound of partition A is 1. So, whenever I am doing this all the steps, I need to check this whether my balance criteria are met or not. 
So, the compute the gains of each cell. So, we need to compute the gains of each cell again. First of all, I, I need to find the Fs, then T, then delta G for each of the cells. Then if, if I see here my uh, cell 1 and cell 5 has the same gain delta G of the uh, cell 1 and cell 5 are 1. So, then if uh, they have the delta G is same then I have to look into my look into the balance criteria. Uh, so, basically uh, here I have two candidates for the base cell the cell 1 and the cell 5 then the area of uh, basically the balance criteria uh, I need to check if I move the move the cell 1 the area of A is basically 4 ok area of A is 4 then uh, if I move the cell 5 the area of the partition A is 11. So, both the moves are uh, satisfying my balance criteria. So, I can choose any one of the cells, but uh, here we have uh, taken the cell 1 is selected for the move. Now, after I move one of the partition A have uh, basically 2 other partition has all the cells 3, 4, 5 and 1. Now, I need to again find out the uh, delta G whatever I told you after I find the delta G then I need to check that which is giving me uh, basically the best uh, gain the best gain is uh, offered by basically cell 2 which is giving me gain 2. So, now I have to move to the iteration 2 here we have uh, cell 2 has a maximum gain the cell 2 is maximum gain of 2 then area uh, criteria is 0 is, is violated here if I move this one the area criteria is violated then the, then I have to choose the next node uh, either 3 or 5 ok I have uh, taken the 3 then delta G 2 is uh, minus 1 area of A is now 5 then the balance criteria is met here the, uh, the in the first case the case 1 the balance criteria is not met the case 2 the balance criteria is met. So, we need to choose the cell 3 for a move. So, uh, also we can check it for the cell 5 which is uh, having uh, area of 9 it is also meeting the balance criteria. So, either 3 or 5 should be used uh, can be taken for a move, but we have uh, taken the cell 3 here. So, then we have 2 and 3 in one partition. 1, 4, 5 is in the other partition and this 1 and 3 is now the fixed cell. 1 and 3 will not move in the future iterations. So, now if you can see here my uh, I have uh, 3 more cells cell 2, cell 4 and cell 5 where I am finding the delta G. Then I have to uh, check the uh, which is having giving me the best uh, gain. So, the gain was offered by the cell 2 here. So, here the uh, balance criteria is met and I can move the cell 2. So, here I have uh, A 3 is uh, basically 3 and B 3 is basically 1, 2, 4, 5 with the fixed cell 1, 2, 3. This 3, uh, 1, 2, 3 will not move in the future iterations. Now, I have only 2 more cells are there 4 and 5 with gain 0 and minus 1 the cell 4 has the gain highest gain that is 0. Then the cell 4 has a gain maximum gain of uh, 0 and the area of uh, partition is basically 5 it is meeting the balance criteria. So, I have 3 4 in one partition 1 to 5 in the other partition. With these I have 1 2 3 4 as the fixed cell 1 2 3 4 are the fixed cell. So, now after this I have the last cell the uh, cell 5 is left out the cell left uh, cell 5 is having the gain of minus 1. Then the cell 5 is the only cell left out. So, it is uh, whatever the gain that will be the maximum. So, the area of the partition A is 10 uh, which is also meeting my balance criteria. So, the area of partition A 4 is 3 4 5 area of B 3 is 1 2 all the cells are now fixed. Now, whatever we are doing here each step we are 
finding the gain. The first step, the gain is 1, then the, uh, the accumulation happens in the G2, which is uh, 2, is, uh, which is G2 is 0, G3 is 1, G4 is 1, G5 is, G5 is 0. So, then we need to find out which is giving me the best gain among all the iterations. So, I need to find out the maximum positive cumulative gain 1, G1, G3 and G4. Okay. 1, 3, 4, I am getting iterations, I am getting maximum GM. So, the move uh, prefix 4 is selected uh, because it has a better balance criteria 5. The 4 cells 1, 2, 3, 4 are then moved actually. Okay. So, this is the uh, results of the pass 1 which is having 3, 4 in 1 partition and uh, 1, 2, 5 in the other partition. The cut cost is reduced from 3 to 2 in this partition. Okay, so, this is the partition A, this is the partition B. I have two cut cost 1 and 2. So, in this lecture, we discussed about uh, uh, one of the famous uh, partitioning algorithm that is called the FM algorithm. Uh, it has uh, many merit points such as it takes area of the cell into account while doing the partitioning, that is the first point. The second point is, is that it takes uh, basically it can allow a single cell movement. That is the second advantage and the third advantage is that it, it, it can be applicable for hypergraph or hyper edges, which is really happens in case of digital uh, circuit design. So, we our circuits has uh, have multiple pins are connected to the same net. So, that is why the uh, this FM algorithm is suitable for hypergraph. We also discussed about one uh, example using the FM. Thank you for your attention.